one thing about this, I felt kind of spoiled at the park. I met a friend through the act from the college. He's a trans person. Mm -hmm. He's the, uh, fucking, what's the one word, uh, he's a guy, but he's a woman. Trans woman. Yeah, he's that, and you know, I'm, I'm pretty cool with him. I always make little jokes about him, like, you know, like, behave yourself. They're like, you know, don't be, be a good girl, don't be a bad girl, whenever we say goodbye to each other. And, you know, since it's already kind of like the summer, he, uh, he, uh, he went to the ice cream truck. And he also got me what he got over an ice cream, a, a big cup like cookie and cream. Nice. They don't mind you referencing him as a guy now. No, he's uh he's chill. Like if I if I call him guy or girl, it doesn't really uh, matter. Mm -hmm. He's not like those people that flip out hardcore on you. If you uh, misguided enough, he understands that like, you know. Well, no, if, if you no no man, if you know a trans person long enough, it'd be very hard to. I've talked to a few, and I say man non-generally a lot, just like, oh man, blah blah blah, and I'm like, I'm sorry, and they're like getting mad because I'm just admitting that I say it, not so much for the general. So yeah, it is, it's really difficult. Yeah, because I cannot stand the trans people that are on Twitter or TikTok, that I just overreact to everything. I mean, look, I get it, but people are going to accidentally say something. <clears throat> but now that we see the mean boss, what's the to do on the DLC? Well, we didn't beat any of the mean boss. We beat him for you? This guy? I want to say so. Well, if we... we... No, he's alive. He's alive. Because there'd be no fog wall. He's alive. We didn't beat him. I was like... You oh, wouldn't yeah, be able to survive. Right. I died. Uh, the, um, there was that other boss, too, but other than that, there's really not much. You would get a crown after this guy, just like the first is. How'd that not hit me? All right, here comes this. Stay on the. Once he uh, does the sweep of the sword thing to put it in the ground, you know, do the thing where he ignites the fireballs, which is you just basically trying to stay on the outer rim. And if you if you get lucky, you can try to like get in the uh, inner rim. The he'll do this. Ow. too soon. I'm too far away as well. I don't know why I'm having a Yeah, you gotta be careful of that. I don't know why I'm having trouble. Fume Knight's not even that difficult. I, 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 yeah, co-op does make things a bit rough sometimes. I'm just used to his AI solo. He doesn't jank around as much. He'll do different attacks based on who he's going for. So sometimes he'll try to be hitting you and then he'll hit me by mistake because I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, bro, it looks like that's game over. Oh, shit, I forgot to give you... Alright, well, drop yours. I can still join you even though I'm dead? Well, yes. Ah, uh, the host needs to be alive. Oh, okay. I don't have much either, though. I never had a problem with effigies. We didn't even die that much. 
No, the one that fucked me over was doing that goddamn uh, child thing. Yeah. That is true, but I've died just as bad as you in the past in that. And so has Tom. It just shows that I've forgotten Dark Souls 2. I mean, I wasted several as well. I'm down to seven. I'm not much behind the other, but... I also gave you a handful. I mean, yeah, I had a lot more, remember. I also gave you, like, five. But still... It was just... There's three. Here. Here's three. Worst, worst case scenario is we can bonfire a set of a few bonfires and collect some. There was the one, there was that chest in the forest of fallen giants at the beginning that came to, uh, contained a few. We can burn an ascetic at Majula's bonfire to reset the skeletons that were down in that mansion and get some there. Then we can also just farm enemies, but there's a couple enemies that drop some, but eh. No, honestly, bro. Uh, just hopefully we get lucky and not do like hardcore do this lot. I also want to get the shit over so I mean, it's, I agree. Granted, uh, I don't want to flat out quit the game. I actually do want to get it done. Nah, my weapon's breaking. Oh boy. You don't have any repair powder, do you? I ran out, and my I didn't rest at the bonfire, and my weapon's about to break. Yes, I do. I have two on me. Cool. I just leave, right? Yeah, just hit leave. Thank you. Uh, is that the only thing I repair stuff? Uh, I think item item wise, and it doesn't even do it that much. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be doing much in this, just because my weapons are probably gonna break long before I harm him too much, but. Hopefully we beat him here.
because he's buffed. And he's even more stronger because of the buff. Come on. Oh, he's Ah, don't do that in my face! <laughs> yes! Woo! Me and you, me and you dodged that last sword swipe so fucking effortlessly right into each other. <sighs> okay, I gotta go and... Okay, he didn't do anything to my durability, thank God. Good. <laughs> That fight is so fun, it has my heart pumping still. Oh. Now that's some Dark Souls. Now that's a boss. Hmm? Yeah, I did. You too? Yep. That's why we gotta farm it. <sighs> it is so weird seeing a muscle fire in my enemy wife will be. Mm. Let's see, I'm gonna get some life gems. That thick, need that crack. Yeah. I'm, gonna burn, I'm gonna burn an ascetic here and see how much they give the skeletons in the mansion. Because if I can get free effigies here and the ones at the fort, the start of the forest of giants, I could easily get that. The forest of all the giants is a bit of a, it's not really much of a run, but I really don't feel like doing it if I can. I really don't want to not fight Iron Golem, but it is fun watching. Fucking Havel's armor is fucking tanky as shit. You literally can take like four or five hits before you gotta heal. Yeah. Yeah, there's some really tanky armor in Dark Souls. Because my first playthrough, one of the bosses, I wore Havel's armor. It's the the guy with the giant dragon tooth that wore his armor. And there was, there's four of them in any given moment they don't all they all have the same health pool and the more they if you kill one it goes away for a while and they come back but if you kill off enough of them their health goes to zero that's how you beat them but uh they were just hitting me and i could just withstand several blows now they were stunning me yes but i was able to take more than i normally could yeah there's there's you can't roll though because you're fat that's what they call it. That, that you're in, over encumbered and you're fat rolling, but you sacrifice speed for de uh, defenses. And but you also have to have the power, kind of some of the power to back it up. Ah, uh, I wouldn't know on that one. I, I your stats eventually start to cap out at some point, but long before your ca uh, stat reaches a, a maximum, because it hits a hard cap. Yeah, fifty is generally my hard cap, because every it, usually it takes like three or four points to start boosting at anything after that. That's why I was telling you, like once you hit fifty in like your four main stats, and you're like in the hundreds, mid hundreds, it's 
leveling isn't a priority, you could just kind of go for health after that. Or put it in anything else if you want some more endurance, like stamina or something, or extra extra damage, whatever. But it's not going to do too much. It's just... Why not? So I usually just spend it on shit. Buy, buy healing items if need be, or resistance shit, or whatever. Blood vial and bloodborne. Crack rocks in this game. I'm gonna probably level just to get these souls off me, but that's about it. It's not gonna do much. Bear. Cause yeah, my dex is at 47, so I'm almost at 50, 50, 50, 50 with four stats. Right. I was like that probably before the DLC, so you're doing just fine. Boss's act armor is active now. Oh, oh, the armor of the final boss? These two. Technically, one you just the one I just beat is technically the final boss. He's the one that gives you the crown. However, the other the armored one is also one of the isn't they're not really mandatory. The only one here mandatory is really Fume Knight, the one we just beat, but yeah, technically he's gonna be our final boss. But he's active now. The only difference is he's gonna it's gonna feel like the, the the giant memories we went into because it's a time limited thing. But it gives you a lot of time. Okay. One, you can like search around the area and then once you pretty much have dabbled into it, you'll be able to go through the level. The area's rough, so we're probably gonna die a lot. Um, I got two epigees. There was two skeletons down there when I respawned them. I do have like 20-something ascetics. You probably have somewhere on the level. That's good. That's two each. Or, and you can do the, uh, or you could just do the Force to Fallen Giants one over and over again, which I think you get five in a chest. Other than that, the rest are either farming. Luckily, you can just warp to the bonfire at the Forest of Fallen Giants, that very first one, and walk down that river. That's what we're probably going to have to do. I believe it spawns from that bonfire. That's the problem, too. you got to make sure it spawns from that bonfire.
Why is it taking fucking forever? I knew it was, because of how long it freaking took and I wasn't going in. I didn't hit a load screen. Look at Dark Souls 2. It's not like Dark Souls is not going to have share problems, but it's definitely better than this damn password system or ring system. <sighs> uh, whatever, it's their first time trying a system and it worked. Sort of. They just made it better. Because God knows co-op in Dark Souls 1, whether that service was on its way out at the time or what, but it was trash. Just as bad as Demon Souls' of servers, which was going out at the time that me and Tom tried playing it. Hey, three legs, what's good? The co-op of the remaster, yes, because it's Why the password system for Bloodborne. Cocktail? Why there is a fucking cocktail in my fucking hand? Fucking cock, mother. Oh, you beat it. Sucker. You beat Re. Nice, nice. How was it? Which one was he playing again? He was playing seven. He was playing oh, eight, no. but I don't know where he stopped in that. But he. Oh, the uh, the hit bully. Yeah, he beat Biohazard. Nice. Nice, nice. That game is one of my favorite. I love 7. Mm -hmm. And I followed, I told you, the, the guy that does the thing with Iron Mouth, uh, Sea Dog V8. I, cause of him, I follow this other guy called Chris Abroad. Yeah. And, uh, these other people are Nice. Hey, Angel. Thank you for shouting each other out. That's good, though. Yeah, I, I've seen some of those videos. How's Dark Souls? Well, it's going well. We just beat one of the last bosses of this DLC for me. Now we're doing it for him. It's going fantastic. How was your guys' day going? I hope you enjoyed RE7. I know you were trying to do 8 on Hardcore, but... That's not a fun experience, in my opinion, for a first time. Then again, I'm not a I'm not a pro at FPS or third-person shooters, and or any shooter for that matter. Ah! Not that I wasn't great at bad at Left 4 Dead. It's just I panic under massive pressure and I miss like RE4. I was missing horrendous amount of point-blank shots. I'm surprised I even beat the final loss in four because I was so low on ammo. It was almost a Code Veronica situation where I actually had to reload part of it. God, please remake that game. Yeah, come. Please remake Code Veronica. I mean, I can understand that. I still want that over 4, but 4 was fantastic. I, in my opinion, it's the best one thus far. It's my favorite remake and it has action elements into it. And I didn't think RE2 remake could be beat. But yeah, no, RE7 is definitely, in my opinion, better than 8, but that's me. But that's coming from a sec subsequent playthrough. Because I loved 8, my first playthrough. I don't know, I just... Yeah. Oh shit, I forgot, you don't have enough the bastards. Let's get over here. Motherfucker! Yeah, no, we made a mistake and lowered him the he by the healing. And then he stayed now now he's and I made a mistake not healing. Warhammer as well with the lurk. Lurk while streaming, I appreciate you, Warhammer. Because like fuck I was gonna say, you know how like uh, now with the RE game, you know, Capcom games, it says the RE engine. Yeah. RE engine was originally created and made Ghost of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. 
uh, PC. Interesting. Damn it. That sucks. Nuts. But yeah, no, I really didn't. But how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. I hope everyone's day was well. I appreciate everybody being here. I made mistakes of looking away too much during that kind of confrontation. Uh, Brett, when it comes to a village trapping in hardcore mode... Mm, he did, not me. Should I try doing it with all my weapons, different ammo, and you know the, uh, pack cannon you unlock? Yeah. I try, uh, my ass thinking, alright, I have the, uh, the strongest magnum maxed out, I could do this. I mean, I I was struggling enough with the basic shotgun and pistol that unlimited ammo on the medium difficulty. Like, not hardly struggling, but like, I get killed here and there. Then again, I haven't played 8 in a while, but still, it was just... Eh. But yeah, then I played... Yeah, and, and then I played 7 on the PS5 version, and I beat it just fine. It's a shame that Rose's DLC wasn't that great for me. Ellie, I can't play it. Oh. Ah, that sucks. I think I told you, right? No, not that I know. Ah, uh, fucking, uh, I checked out Ooh. the Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition for the PS5 for library. And, uh, here I'm thinking, alright, the DLC is included. I, I beat the story this week. And I go, alright, where's the DLC? And then I see on the case in the back, oh, come to the vulture for the DLC. And I'm like, son of a bitch, so either the library took away the vulture or somebody else took it out before me and used it. That sucks. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's not that great. It's not horrible, but. Seven's DLCs beat it easily. Both of them easily beat it. Zoe Must Die DLC alone was fantastic. Oh, that was fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> the current act, the last act, they were still dating. She bought me Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition for the PS4. Yeah. I enjoyed Chris's DLC. I, enjoy, I enjoyed that DLC too. Uh, that DLC made me feel like a retard. <laughs> I get that a lot with those games. That's me though in general. I already had the KDLC for the Gold Edition to drop the disc. 
unlike fucking fire, uh, unlike fucking village where it's in a fucking vulture. But uh, I was gonna say, uh, I downloaded the DLC for Alley Fire Road, it's not showing up, maybe something wrong. The whole time for it, I had to fucking update the game. Wow. So there was an update in order for the game to recognize the free DLC of Christmas. Yeah. Oh my god, game, why are you doing this? I see your sign. Yeah, a lot of people complain about those games in Silent Hill. The only thing they did to me as a kid is it scared the crap out of me. I mean, I wasn't good. I, w I wasn't good at them then, but, like, give me a few hours in, uh, like, I was alright. Like, my first playthrough of RE1 was trash. I'll give you that. Because, to be honest, I never really played them long enough as a kid. However... You saw not long after that, I eventually started to beat them. I beat Silent Hill much easier than I did Resident Evil. The only problem I have is my direction is awful, and I'm not great at some puzzles. Other than that, I didn't have too bad of a time with any of them. I'm just a bit slow sometimes. And trust me, I'll let the viewers know, I bitch a lot. Other than that, I enjoyed RE, just not 3. <laughs> not at all. Both. Both. The original was a big, like, my brother played that a lot, and I was so excited for it. I just didn't enjoy it. It was short in general. I didn't enjoy the combat. I didn't enjoy the dodging mechanic of Nemesis. I wanted it, but it wasn't the way I was expecting it. And it was just, I don't know, I just couldn't enjoy it as much. 2, just, after playing 2, I just think it's impossible to beat that with those 3. When it comes to like the original three on the uh, PS1, my favorite one is two, followed by three, then one. Yeah, one is definitely, definitely the worst. But I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't get into three a Nemesis at all, nor the remake. I tried even playing, replaying the remake before three came out, uh, four, four released, and I was just like, no. But I beat two twice on the B side of the campaign. I could play extra blunt for you. I could get like, the S rank and like it's nothing. Yeah, I'm not a speedrunner or anything like that. I need to learn routing and where not to go. I just like to collect and search everything, so. I think even if I played that game a lot, I don't think I would be at your level. Because I know there's a challenge I want to try doing on the uh, Resident Evil 3 remake. I don't know if it's in the second one as well, but it's a, I think it's also a trophy, but it's also a challenge where you beat the game. Without using the, uh, the storage box. Yep, for... To, uh, that's in the remake. I don't know if it's in the original, though. No, the original there wasn't any challenges like that. Oh, okay, I don't remember. But, yeah, that's that's one in the remake. I can tell you because I played that before 4's release. And I had fun playing through 7 again. Because, like, the only challenge that, hmm. that Resident Evil 3 had, the original one, was if you uh, defeated Nemesis, you would drop a... You uh, drop shit, point. yes. Yep. And I can't, I can't remember if it was on the... I can imagine. Especially in the original. Yeah, I don't feel so bad. 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 I don't feel
Oh, okay. Poor guy. Yeah, that's funny. I feel that, though. Ah, that Dead Rising. Capcom, what is with Capcom in me and you? Uh, you want, do you want to avoid that side there, bud? Oh, wait, what? Oh, your souls. Yeah, I, I only broke one official controller, but Capcom games have just did it for the both of us. Dead Rising, I will never forget that. Fucking Adam the Clown can go rot in hell. It wasn't even Brock, it was Adam. That, yeah. What is with this guy? It's like my dodges don't want to work. I'm not trying. That, that's fine. I'm not trying to heal him. I'm just trying to heal myself. Because I mean, I I got stuck in a pit. Okay, trickster. Uh-oh. He's done! Yep. Go down there and collect your ring, and then we're gonna go meet by the armor. Unless you, unless you need effigies. I don't know why, how you missed one of the wedges. We did the same stuff. You know what I mean? We, we, I don't know. You're, the only thing I think you'd probably be missing is I don't even have her full soul yet. So I'm missing somewhere or something too. Because once you collect all of them, you would get her, her soul would combine. They would all combine into a soul. It's whatever. Not like you care about the boss weapon shit. You aren't me who tried to platinum this damn game, which that doesn't require it, but it's still collection. I think Dark Souls 1 is the only one that has the trophy for getting all the boss weapons. Uh, it's the smelter throne. It literally on the first, uh, the first, um, map for this, the broom tower. It's the very last bonfire. It looks like an armor. It's called smelter, th the smelter throne. Which was the one next to the bonfire we're currently at with that guy. Alright, I'm assuming we gotta enter in.
a sec. Yeah, I was, I was getting some effigies. Uh, no, but you have a time limit once you enter it. Oh no, no, you should be good. to enter it. Nice. Uh, no. I know for a fact, because I co-op this. I dropped my sign. Oh, okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Come to me, my white horse. Come to me. Yes, my Mexican friend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck it, I know. Uh, Brett, what's, what's that one show I think your mom had us watch? That one movie, uh, The Lone Ranger with Johnny Depp? Yeah. What's, what's, what's the name? It's like, you're the Lone Ranger, I'm the one native that uh, Johnny Depp played. I don't remember names, but... <laughs> Why is it not like you? Oh, I chugged us to Oops, okay. Signs down. Smallest bee I've ever seen. Thank you, Shameless. I am indeed. And then you have the shameless, most shameless dad bot I've ever seen. Patch it. Hey, no, wrong pull, wrong pull, wrong pull. Oh God, wrong pull. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What a, what has science done? So shameful. Oh, that's a fire lizard. Careful. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Hey, hey, I'm right here, jackass. Oh, yay. Hi, hi, hi. Ow. Thank you. Ah, forgot how annoying this area is. Give me a sec while I try to clear things for you. Hopefully, and not die. That, that's... Uh, not from the ground floor unless you have range. So I'm about to kill... I'm about to kill one right now. Ow! Get yeah, dingbat! Come down, come down, bitch. Come on, come on, come down, come down. Yeah, take that. 
Okay, there's stuff too. I don't know if. Wait, I think. Sweet. Yeah, I saw a body in here. It's what. A rusted coin. I wish I remembered much of DS2. To be honest, my Dark Souls is losing it as well, and I've played a lot of the games. Useless lizard doesn't even defend itself. No, it doesn't. That's why it has these assholes doing it for him. Thank you for a life gem. And then... Ah, uh, pillar, thank you. <laughs> this was to uh, the lizard I killed. There's nothing in here, but that I know of. Yeah, that I know of. I mean, he could have dropped an item, to be honest. Come. Jackass sneaking up on us. Fucking wall. I recommend. I should. Let's let's do that. Let's do that, shall we? We have a guest! Ooh, I was out of stamina. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me heal myself. Not that I'm low on health. Okay, I almost forgot about that. Dog it. Ah, it's all good. That's where the guard was. Alright. I, I, oh, I just landed on your head, Mario style. Like, you're lucky you're not a Goomba. <laughs> I mean, they are brown. I love the original, but the, yeah, the, uh, the original Dark Souls 2 wasn't great either, but no, it's definitely better than Scholar. I'll give you that. I did not mean to backstab him. How fucking dare you? They did. They added more enemies and put stuff in more like player versus enemy in invasions and places. They've changed up a lot of item locations. The DLCs, keys that they originally gave you when you downloaded are now put into the world, so you gotta find them. Uh, the bosses are generally the same. Everything else is generally the same. They just added more nonsense to get around. Certain things... It's, it's stupid. And then there's a lot more mobs. They added a lot more shit in random places. And it's, like... Aldia's Keep has got some new shit, or whatever, like, there's the dragon that you fight at the end of Aldia's Keep, they added one at, uh, Hides Flame, where you gotta go to the bridge and then you have to beat him and a freaking lever comes up to bring down the, um, drawbridge for the reskin of the Ornstein fight. Yeah, there, there, it's, it was, like, there's unnecessary dumb changes that Scholar of the First Sin has. That made it undoubtedly worse. I don't know if it's overall, like, connectivity and all that for people is better. It's still the same co-op, like, summoning-wise. They didn't fix anything of that. All right, bro. I'm going back in. All right. Considering it's been out for a bit. And I, I don't know. People love the PvP and all. I just don't know how good that generally all is and been approved upon. I gotta warp out to get my ass to spec, but the game just is overall worse. The only good thing about it, I guess, is it's updated and I can play it on a modern console, but when this game first re-released, I was like, this does not need it. It was literally the next generation up, and I was like, why does Dark Souls 2 need a further updated release? It's not even a remaster. It's just a re-release with added content, and it's just done so bad. 
I get they wanted to release a pack with all three DLC, but they could have done it better without changing the game up. Yep, I never care for PV PvP either. This game doesn't seem too horribly active. We haven't had many players join, but... There are hot spots in the game. You'll occasionally get some shit. But yeah, there's a lot more black phantoms normal than uh, regular enemy phantoms that join randomly. Which is not too much of a problem, but it is different. Bro, I'm gonna teleport out of here just so uh, we set a timer. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, you're good. Felt like it was... No, it was horrible. The PvP is horrible. I'll be backstabbed from a mile away. Uh, well, it looks like I'll warp out because I already went in. Well, you know what? It's your world. Come in. It's your world, not mine. We're not going off my time. Alright, I'm going in. I'm a derp. But anyway, I just needed to warp out to get me my Estus back. And you know how I am with talking. But, yeah. yeah, Dark Souls 2. It's, this, this has not been a fun experience. The only fun is that I have him here. Like, I've been... I was going into this expecting better, to be fair. This is my second playthrough of this. Even that, even my first playthrough was better. I almost platinumed it. That's not right. Wherever you are on here. I did touch the time. Man, all these uh, nice people over there, they're all just like help me. Yeah. But I, I gave up. I have Dark Souls 1 and I have Bloodborne and I have Sekiro Platinumed and Demon Souls Remake Platinumed. And I was going for this, but I was just like, after some of the shit that I needed to farm from Black Phantoms, I'm like, I'm done. This is nonsense. Hell yeah, Sekiro was amazing. All f all multi playthroughs that I did, both routes, ca uh, both campaign routes. I I loved it. I wish there was more to it. They did a thing where they added a boss rush, which was kind of cool, but it's not enough to save it for me. I did do the I did do a bit of Sekiro co-op mod. It was fun. Stupid game to mess around in. Elden Ring open world mod was also kind of kind of dumb fun. I wish I could explore that more. With co-op anyway. You hated 30 FPS. I'm morally a console gamer so I I'm, I'm usually fine with it. Whoa. whoa. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not ideal, but I primarily play console. But I play pretty much everything. I'll play PC if I have to. I just don't focus it because it's easier and most of my friends have consoles. Whether they're from me or from childhood. Because we all grew up playing basically at my house. Let's just say that. The few, the few friends that I have were always at my house. Just one Elden Ring are beautiful. Uh, Elden Ring. Yeah, I got a platinum that still. I actually only played that game fully once. I started a second playthrough, but I never finished it. Ooh, that's... Hey, that is loud. But I never finished my second. No, it... Well, it is a little loud, but it might be my end. Just on my headphones. I don't know how loud it is for chat, but there was just a lot of noise. Oh, you skanky biz and nut. Bitch nut. Fucking deer and get over here. 
I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but sure, come here! Ah, I'd be a little ball sack. Wait, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Sekiro. I played it not too long ago, but then I forgot some of the maps. I was like, uh, well, I'm done. Hi. Also hi. Oh, motherfucker. Woo! Okay, those are below. I, my body reacted on its own. Yeah, uh, there's- Ow, I got an arrow in my whatever. Yeah, there's a- Some of the lizards below. It's one of the more f satisfying ones. Yeah, I love the rhythmic combat. I just wish there was more. I also really enjoy the more open, uh, mixed mechanic of the Elden Ring. Ow, can you back up, please? Can you back up, please? There's an arrow. Please don't do that. I didn't know he was there. Please try not to trap me in hall in door in hallways, please. It it did. Yes, I was. It's fantastic. Being able to jump, ride on a horse, teabag, all the whole young nine yards. And get fingered all at one time. Oh, you went back upstairs? Yeah, did you get everything done? I didn't look down the rest of the uh, area. So it's only one fire lizard down here? I guess. Hmm. Now it seems kind of barren down here. Oh, wait, an <laughs> item. Upstairs? Oh, it's just back up to up here. Okay. Alright. What's the item? I always heard this was the black sheep of the Dark Souls. It is, it, it is Prince Very. It is Very the black sheep of this family. Uh, the original Dark Souls trilogy, yes. I say original, but it's, it still is a trilogy. It's like Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring, Demon Souls are invited to the barbecue. Dark Souls 2 is not. <laughs> <Yep. sighs> Problem is, it's not a horrible game. It's just, it's just not. After all these long years, Scholar of the First Sin edition, which added a lot of new content, just made the game worse. And since Dark Souls 2's original fall has fallen off, as it's no longer uh, playable modernly. 
Unless you have a PC and who's playing the that version anyway. But it's like Yeah. Now this is my favorite boss of this DLC though. This is the guy who will commit seppuku if you beat him without taking a damn hit. And I've done it. It's on YouTube. That that takes a lot of patience. I had to quit for every hit. I'm not great at, I don't fancy myself amazing at Dark Souls, but I am, uh, I've played this game long enough that I fancy myself decent enough. I've beaten some really tough fights very easily. Now I can't parry crazy. What the hell? By me. Oh, took my first hit. Careful, he's coming at you. Fuck! Woo! Uh. You. Oh, you dick. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, that is it. We get a trade blows there, alone. Woo! I thought we were. <laughs> I tried. Me hey, Megan. All right, I got some shouting out to do here. And thank you for the lurk. Let me do some reading after that. One on me. Die. Pull out your knife. Stab him in yeah. the dick. I do like this area. Mad respect for people who beat DS games. Well, I appreciate it. These games can be rough. My first playthrough of all of them were very rough. DS3, and honestly, I have to be in the right mood. I don't know. I just got very addicted to Dark Souls. I love RPGs and action RPGs generally. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it quickly became one of my favorite franchises. One and three are fantastic. Demon Souls is fantastic. They're all fantastic. Minus this one. But that boss fight was fun. That was fun. Probably one of the few fun fights. How'd you enjoy that fight? Uh, yeah, he's, he's... Yeah, he... He, uh, will surprise you. He's got my heart pumping. Not very many bosses do that anymore. But that's why I got addicted to Dark Souls in general. Like it, it, it's, it gave me rushes beating a boss that was pounding my ass. No other games really do that. I mean, you can ask this guy. He walked into me breaking a controller and Dead Rising 1. I get very mad. Very mad. I get passionate. Shit. My dad always questioned why that happens. And it's just like... Then he does it for sports. <laughs> Minus the controller breaking. Or, well, I mean, I don't know. He'll do it for... Uh, yeah. Yeah, if my dad's ever doing any household stuff, he gets pissed off. Wouldn't be surprised if shit went breaking there. But yes, I very... Dark Souls has got me very passionate. That's why I've played these games a lot over the years, since Dark Souls 1 was first popular. <laughs> I quit that game for a year, but it was one of those things where I was dying to the skeletons, and I was like, alright, I'll come back to this, and just didn't for like a year. Came back, and then I ventured through it and beat it. Took me a while, but I beat it. And it gave me my fair share of trouble. Ugh. Stuff that you're probably going to see in our recent playthrough once we get down to it, which this DLC is done for him now. One more DLC, and then we have the last few bosses. We still have to fight Vendrick. 
And if he proves too annoying for my friend, we don't have to beat him. Because there's already one boss we skipped. Alright, bro, are you inside the memory or not yet? Not yet. I'm about to enter it. I'm gonna go ahead now and grab my knife. Alright, well, your DLC is done. So you're on the Ivory King now. He's dead. He is dead. Everything else is alive, but he's dead for you. Yeah, it's a shame. Dark Souls 2 is the black sheep of the family. They... I don't know how that happened. But whatever. At least Bloodborne was good. But everyone bitches about a Souls game when they first release. They're not always the greatest either. Did people bitch for uh, Dark Souls 2 when, it, when that one came out? Yeah, there's probably stuff that people bitched about. Usually PvP wise. But yeah. There's a lot of nerfs that happen. That's generally really all I see, but. There's a lot of jankiness to enemies and such that in the past they had to patch up one of the areas in DS2 because it was difficult and I and then I beat it without it, and it's still difficult, regardless. But it's just like, eh. They they also just made Dark Souls 2's mechanics and certain things just made the game feel overall more difficult than the others. I don't. It's it's another reason why I despise it. So. Yet it's the same franchise, but it feels vastly different. If it weren't for adaptability and poor iframes, this game would be a lot better. It wouldn't probably still wouldn't be great, but it'd be a lot better. It's one of the maybe may, uh, main driving factors of why this game is horrible. Is one stupid fucking stat. No, it failed. I mean, yes, but it failed. It, it just doesn't want us to beat this damn DLC. Uh, come on. Alon is... None of these bosses were generally difficult. Like, I've... Seriously, it didn't take us long to beat them. Damn, <laughs> Fume Knight gave me the most trouble just because I was being careless, but... And I think one of the bosses in the last DLC might be a no. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. We'll see how that... I mean, the, the boss shouldn't be too hard co-op, but it's the area. We'll see how that goes. I don't even really like that area. Ugh. I don't think anyone knows. Ah! Ah! Oh, my face! It's on fire! Oh, I, I can't hit him. Oh, you have a great sword there, bud. You have a great sword!
whatever it's called, that one. Mm. Well, I, we missed. Wait, didn't we kill these? We killed this entire group, no? no? Yeah, I don't see anything. Nothing there. That the only lizard I can think of is that we didn't get to us in. Oh wait, no, we got all of them. Yeah, because this this lizard leads to that drop down. We didn't know we could. Leave. Also the boss. Ow. Ah! Come on, man! Doorway, please! Where is that? Oh, there it is. I was like hidden right here. Oh. I'm using a better twin blade. Go shove it. Hello, hi, can you not? Oh, no. Oh. 
What do you mean? There's you're gonna warp right to the bonfire anyway. What do you mean? Well, I need to revive. There's what do you mean? There's nothing else to do. How's everybody? I am dropping my time. of this at all I was not trying to spring them all on upon us yeah this that was not my intent my intent was running past them and they hit me and then it they killed me and then they killed me no that was not my intent I saw one I was trying to run and he hit me and then uh, they all came at me after that Fuck me. That was not a good thing. Maybe it was, you never know. I really don't want to be fighting everything. Battle strategy with the lurk. I'm going in, going out.
too soon on that one. Thank you. I did horrible. <laughs> be the wannabe weeboo. Yay. your last wedge. Honestly, use that wedge downstairs in the final boss area thing. Alright. How many do you have? Oh, the inventory. Would it be under the rubber salt? Yeah, it's at the very bottom for me. It's, it's still in your inventory. Oh damn, you found, yeah, you found the same amount I missed one, yeah, as I thought. But yeah, you, okay, you should get her soul then. I gotta go, don't, I don't really care, but. Might as well. So then we didn't miss anything for you, alright. I forgot that he does give you a smoke torch. Are the two, yeah, the two buried ones. Yeah, it should tell you immediately if it combined it or not. Cool. Alright, I don't... Yeah, I don't really care about the soul, but cool. Alright, well, you're gonna want to go... to Majula. Yeah, because we're going to the Shrine of Winter again. That's where the third bonfire is located. Or the third DLC is located, rather. Probably could walk from the Ruben Fort Road, but eh.
Do you remember where that pathway is? Yeah, it's up where you... It's up walking towards the hub again. Like, or not the hub, but the tutorial. You would walk back through the... From the bonfire, you'd walk up straight and go through that... It's a giant stone arch stone. Or archway. Arch stone. Yeah, just walk up there and then you should see a another archway of tree branches. I'll go in there. Yep. No, that's the other. That There's a small path that was directly right to the side of that, down an incline, that leads from the Forest of Giants. This is different. Oh, I missed this? The fuck? Oh, this is where that one guy is resting with a blade that glows? Yeah. Yep, indeed. This is where you rescued girl you can dress up. You didn't do any, like, summoning for bosses, so you didn't really progress anybody's quest line at all. That's right, there's a bonfire here. My dumbass forgot about that. Oh, whatever. Follow the path out. The other door. Yeah, my dumbass forgot about that. And this one, damn it, it was after this. Okay, the root. Uh... I'm in the shield wood. Yeah, you could just have warped. The Shrine of Winter is after. I thought it was before him. That's right, it's after. It just shows how tired I am right now. My brain isn't thinking. Anyway. Just continue the path you would have hit. There's two bonfires that we could have warped to the second one. My dumbass. Don't mind me, guys. Let me warp to the bonfire. That's definitely not the right way. Uh, it should be Ruined Fork Road or whatever it was. I'm just... Yeah. I feel so fucking dumb. I forgot about that. It's after... Not before. Oh, either way. I'm tired. It's the first archway on the left. It's on the upstairs level. It should lead you to an open area with a bunch of dudes. Because if you go the wrong way, it's either the fog or the one with the hippo. If I uh, said the hippo one, then oops. This is originally what led us to Drain Lake Castle. Which, yeah, which is what should have... This is why I feel so dumb, is because... For some reason, I didn't think that. I was like, oh, yeah, Shrine of Winter is what led us there. I should have warped. I didn't think it until it hit me. I do that a lot in Souls, though. Like, I don't know why. I just have my derp moments. And then it just makes me feel so dumb.
just keep following, and eventually you'll hit the Shrine of Winter Doors. Yeah, yeah, the one with the um, RM. Snakes, examine it, and you'll be in the Ivory King DLC. There is. Just go up the stairs. I don't see stairs. I can see them now. So much cocaine. I'm going to open this door. Oh, okay, there's uh, the stairs behind the door. Yeah. I'm being yelled at. You'll see in a sec. Alright, my sign is down by the bonfire. Uh, the queen of this castle. That's a queen? Yes, who else would it be? You were destroying the remnants of the last queen in the second one. The it's chick you more used. Like a, it's more like a goddamn deformed queef than a queen. Queef. I wasn't talking about the tree door archway thing. The entire person screaming at you is... Yeah. Yeah, no. That that's her voice screaming at you from somewhere in the castle. Oh, so we killed the queen in the DLC? No. Only the first one. No. Technically, you can. Technically, I guess. There's a mini side quest where you can get several of these stupid souls, and if you give enough to her, she basically relinquishes her life, gaining access to something. Which is something I've never fully done on Xbox. I've only done it on this. And it took forever. So what, does she give you her panties? Equivalent to it. Gives you her soul <laughs> and other things. Might as well. F but probably be frozen right to her. Considering she's a nice, cool bitch. Not really. Her husbando is my favorite boss fight in this the uh, corpse thing walking in the tomb what what corpse thing in tombs I think we gotta have to pull the giant oh no her husband is in this DLC that's Nishandra uh, the back at Drang Lake Castle you'll see the you've seen the queen on the throne already Vendrick is someone else's king oh. each of these I each of these DLC locations have their own king and queen which, though, they're all sisters, though, the queens, they're all related. So, fun fact, we could fight this first boss, however, it'll be invisible. There's an item that allows you to see it. Nope. Uh, no, just you. Yeah, it's interesting concept, actually. That boss in there is a saber. That boss is a ice saber tooth tiger thing. They actually redo that fight later, but two of them. The area getting to them is some of the absolute worst garbage I've ever seen. So we'll see your input when the time comes. We might be able to make it through, but. Solo, that area is a pain in the ass, and the boss fight's a pain in the ass, because it's two against one. Even if it's not always two against one, because it's kind of like a... You beat one down to a certain time frame or a certain threshold of health, and the other one jumps in. Right now, we're fighting him with 
Yes. Ow. Have you noticed why I don't like these DLCs? Some of the basic enemies, the reskins of each other, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. They get lazy. There's a lot of uniques in these, but then there's the guy you just killed, and it's just like, okay. Like this person. Okay, fun fact about them is they eventually backstab you, so take them out now. Like, if you were to go in there without killing them, they'll go and come behind you and you'll have them bolt on you and you'll be trapped. Like this guy, who tried tongue butthole. Okay, no. It feels nice to be on this DLC. Ah. It is my favorite. Ow! The only lazy part about this is some of the enemies and the backtracking. So what we're trying to do here is we're eventually going to dispel this blizzard here, and then we're going to have to backtrack through this area without it. That's the DLC. That's the DLC. That's one of the downfalls of this DLC. Two of the bosses are superb. One is just a reskin with a horrible area. Uh, anything for you? Oh, yeah, there's. Sh <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is a triangle option to swap between things if you have uh, a message next to you. I didn't even see her. Is she... I bet you are. Ow. I got that one dead, so just be wary of projectiles. Ow. Says that, and I get hit by... Yeah, I'm gonna... You take care of her. I'm trying to go after the ones that are frickin' aiming at me from the distance. Ow. Anything else that you need in here? Because a lot of this will thaw once we get the ice storm cleared out. Item in here. Small blue bird. Uh, frostbite. Uh, I think that's for frostbite. Ow! I have a friend doing his first playthrough. You didn't have to take that shot for me, how nice. Uh, Alright. Go ahead and go through. I didn't know if, uh, these area is so cool, but a pain in the ass.
I don't know. This is e this is an easier DLC than the last one, to be honest. The others gave me more trouble than this one. <laughs> 